Hi, my name is Taylor and today I'm gonna show you how to hack your diaper bag. So my first hack for you, I have said it before and I will say it again, and that is to get a backpack style diaper bag. No matter if you have one kid or five kids, having your hands free will make your life a thousand times easier. No matter if you're carrying an infant carrier or chasing toddlers around at the park, it's super helpful to have everything you need readily available on your back and having your hands free to do whatever you need to do as a mom. My next hack for you is to get a set of clear cosmetic bags to use in organization. I use mine to pack a change of clothes for each of my kids and then I have a wet bag to put their dirty clothes in should they need a change. I also use the small bag to pack a few things for myself. These fit easily into my small diaper bag and they keep everything readily accessible. Another space saving hack is to use a gallon sized Ziploc bag to transport your diapers in. You can fill the bag with two stacks of diapers and then suck out all of the air from the bag. This will compress the diapers and make them take up the least amount of space possible. My next hack for you is to use an empty plastic wipes container to make an all-in-one diapering kit. Start by filling the empty container with a change of clothes, some diaper cream, and some clean diapers. Then use two elastic bands to secure a wipes refill to the lid of the container. Fish your wipes through the lid of the container and you now have a complete diapering kit that doesn't take up much room. You can actually assemble a few of these and pass them out to grandparents or keep them in the trunk of your car so that you always have a changing kit on hand. Another great space saving hack is to replace your full size products with sample size ones. You can also save space and keep outfits together by using the clothing burrito. Simply stack and roll your clothes like this using the ends of the socks to cap off the burrito and hold everything together. Then toss your clothing burrito into one of your clear reusable bags or a Ziploc bag and you'll have a place to put your soiled clothes when you use this spare change. The burrito fold works great for blankets as well as it keeps them from taking up too much room in your bag. It's also a good idea to keep an entertainment kit or restaurant go bag in your diaper bag at all times. When I was on the go with a toddler, I liked to include some things like stamps, stickers, these little Play-Doh go packs, and even some crayons, which I stored in an Altoids tin to keep them from crumbling on everything. For babies, I suggest packing some fun toys like little teething rings, maybe a sensory book, um, a lovey, and a rattle of some sort. And for my preschooler, I pull out the big guns, including some watercolor paints and a game of Uno. These really buy us a lot of time um, if we're trying to wait somewhere or if we're in a restaurant. Now that I have two kids with vastly different entertainment needs, I kind of just make my bag into a mishmash of things that either kid could enjoy. I also like to keep at least one of these Melissa and Doug um, magic coloring books on hand at all times. They have a ton of activities and can really buy you a lot of time during longer car rides or longer restaurant sits. If your baby is formula fed, you can actually save a lot of time and space by pre-filling your bottles with the correct amount of water at home. It's also pretty handy to travel with these pre-measured out formula packs. You can store them in a small pocket in your diaper bag and then just whip one out whenever you need to mix up a bottle. You can also save money on ice packs by making your own with a sponge. Just get it wet, put it in a Ziploc and stick it in your freezer. These are great for keeping those frozen teethers cold while you're on the move. Another way to keep your teething toys cold or frozen is to put them into an insulated mug or thermos before you head out of the house. If you have extra breast milk storage bags laying around, know that they are great for keeping together your toddler's utensils when you're on the move. They are also a great place to store clean pacifiers and they fit perfectly into a side pocket of a backpack so that they are easily at hand. If you don't have breast milk bags around, these sauce containers are also great for keeping pacifiers clean and accessible. Or you can use a carabiner or teething ring to keep your pacifiers together and stop them from getting lost in the depths of your diaper bag. If you want to avoid those disgusting changing tables in public restrooms, know that the trunk of your car makes an awesome changing station. 
Finally, here are a few essentials that I always like to have on hand in a diaper bag. The first is some poop bags that you get at a pet store to use for picking up dog poop. These work great to store um, dirty diapers if you don't have a trash can readily available and they're about half the price of the bags that are marketed for diapers. If you're potty training a little one or if you prefer to breastfeed or pump in a bathroom, it's also a good idea to keep some post-it notes in your diaper bag. You can use them to cover up the automatic flushers on the toilets and keep them from going off the whole time you're in the stall. It's also a good idea to always keep sunscreen and a hat in your diaper bag. That way if you're out and about and you want to stop at the park or you find something fun to do, you never let the sun get in the way. Finally, it's always a good idea to stash some non-perishable snacks somewhere in your diaper bag. These can make the difference between a meltdown or a comfortable ride home. So that about wraps it up for these diaper bag hacks. I hope that you found this video helpful and I thank you so much for watching and until next time, goodbye everybody.